Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise fast track. I have had this guy on pre-order forever and he finally arrived today. I am so excited to finally have this guy in my hand. I have always liked fast track for some reason. I'm a huge Scorponok fan. He was the drone who came with generation one Scorponok and uh, recently got a nice upgrade thanks to Toy Hacks. And I've just always really liked this little guy and I think it's so cool that he finally gets a modern update. And I cannot wait to check this figure out. Now let's go ahead and take a look at him in the package. You got Fast Track here in robot mode, Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise. Side of the box actually has Fast Track in his vehicle mode. And he's, he's off attacking some Autobots. And back in the background, he looks like his giant robot. That's actually Airwave. I did some close inspection. That is Airwave back there in the back. On the back of the box, you got fast track in robot mode, vehicle mode, spear mode, and all his little pieces. He's one of those bots, a modulator, that you have to take all apart to transform. You got Earthrise artwork here on the side. So now without further ado, let's get this guy finally out of this packaging and see how cool he really is. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Fast Track all open and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a second orange blaster. This is exactly like the one that's already in his hand. And he has this little sword. Now, I was recently called out that I never go over these map pieces with the red decoder. And uh, I don't plan on starting it now. Now let's take a closer look at Fast Track himself. And I have to say, I love the looks of this robot. He looks so evil. Just so cool. I dig it. Great head sculpt. And fantastic paint applications. I love the red visor. The chrome paint there for the antennas. The blue and black down here on the chest look really good and lots of great molded details. Of course, all the figures in the new Earthrise line, the details have been just spot on. And he looks pretty much just like his Generation 1 counterpart, especially with these new Toy Hacks decals. Now you can take Fast Track's extra gun, and it can go in his hand just like this one right here. That is a gun in a fist. You can put the gun in the hand, or you can attach it here up top on his shoulder and give him a shoulder cannon. And if he does have a shoulder cannon, then you can utilize his little sword. This can go in his hand like so. And now you have him wielding a melee weapon. He's got a shoulder cannon and his hand cannon. Fast track is all armed and ready for battle. Me personally, I like him to look more generation one with the two cannons in his hand. So we'll take this out. Slide it in his fist, and I love how they slide all the way over. It kind of gives you that illusion that his hands are actually the weapons. 
you take the sword there's a hole right there and it pegs into the peg right there on the back of the arm so that way you can store the weapons and now you have fast track looking very much like his generation one counterpart and i love that that looks so good now let's take a look at the articulation as far as the head's concerned it's not on a ball joint it's a swivel it can do a complete 360 but it cannot look up or down arms they can do a complete 360 as well and they can go out slightly there is an elbow bend an elbow rotation and wrist rotation he also has a waist rotation can do a complete 360 legs up and down in and out there is a knee bend and ankle tilts if I can get it, there we go. And that's pretty much it for Fast Tracks robot mode. Like I said, I love it. I think he looks really, really good. No back kibble whatsoever. And really, there's no hollowness to the guy, except behind right here, but that's needed for transformation. And speaking of transformation, let's get Fast Track transformed into vehicle mode. Now, Fast Track is a modulator. He's one of those figures you take apart and then put back together in various modes. Now, that being said, his arms pop off and you have an option to give him a new look. You got two holes right there for the arms. Now, the way I have mine displayed is I have the peg in the first hole, which brings his shoulders up, or you can put it in the last one or the top hole to bring his shoulders down a little bit. But I kind of like the shoulder pylon look so anyway back to transformation what we're going to do is remove the back part first or backpack this is one peg slots in right there and now we're going to remove the torso or the chest from the torso and you're just going to pull straight out a little bit of wiggling here there we go this actually pegs in there's a hole here and a slot there. So this peg goes into that hole and this peg right here fits in that slot. So now that we have this right here, what you're gonna do is take these sections and rotate up and you're gonna take the legs and fold them over. So this slot right here is gonna go over the hip joint. So once you get that over and snapped into place, there is a slot that matches up with that peg you gotta get that in just right or it won't peg together so you got that half and then we'll do the other now this twists and rotates a lot so you really want to make sure this gets lined up and forgot to show you there is a slot right there that matches up to that peg on the leg let's get that pegged in get these down get that slotted in this is the hardest part of the figure is getting these tabs to stay slotted in. But there you go. That is the base of the vehicle. Now we're going to take this section, going to turn the head around, and then move the arms forward, like so. Take this section, and you're going to peg. you got these two pegs right here. They're going to slot into those holes. Actually, you turn the arms the other way. And you want to rotate the arms like so. Get the black section right here on top. So there is the top of the vehicle. And let's remove the sword. So we put that somewhere else in vehicle mode. Now we're going to attach these two together. And on the top, you've got these two slots right there. That'll match up to the pegs on the vehicle base. So get that lined up. snapped into place and there is fast tracks vehicle now forgot the sword you put the sword in the back of the robot's head but make sure this tab right here is facing up so get that locked in it's a tight fit get everything tabbed back together and there we have fast tracks vehicle mode now, Fast Track's vehicle is some sort of futuristic tank. And the weapons right here, or the turrets, can move up and down. So it can be like an anti-aircraft vehicle, a howitzer, 
whatever you want it to be and it's really really cool and looks very much like the generation one counterpart i dig it i love these love letters that hasbro gives us generation one fans lots of great details on the vehicle you've got the antennas now which look like smokestacks or exhaust ports great paint applications right there on the cockpit a little bit of orange highlights the wheels i hate the clips these clips suck on these new figures but man no six wheels really enable fast track to move now with the sword right here in that slot you can actually take little z right here and peg him in just like so and now you have him as a battle chariot maybe for Lord Zarak. I mean, it looks all right. I would have much rather had something where he could maybe go in the cockpit instead of just sitting up there easy pickings for an Autobot sniper, but still really, really cool. And that is Fast Track's vehicle mode. Now he has another mode, a weapon mode for Scorponok. And to transform that, we're gonna go ahead and remove this sword remove the top half of the vehicle take the legs fold out and then you're going to remove these they pop right off from the hips take this section rotate that back around and you're going to take the robot legs and have them where they look like this and just peg them in like so so we've got that. Now we're going to take this section, or the arms, take the arms, pop these off, remove the cockpit section, and you're going to take this section right here, the torso of Fast Track, and put him to the side because you're not using him for weapon mode. Take the cockpit and split this in half. And now let's see, move the feet back. And you're going to line up these two pegs with the holes there on the bottom of the feet. So you've got that going on. Now you're going to take the sword. The sword goes right here in the top. So we have that. And now you're going to take the robot arms and simply peg them together. Then attach the tip of the spear let me see if I can zoom out to get all this in camera. And there you have Fast Track in his spear mode to be utilized with Scorponok. And it doesn't look too bad, but the handle or the staff, it, it's a little floppy. There's a lots of joints to the handle of this spear. But it works pretty well when you put it in Scorponok. Now, spear mode just kind of fits in Scorponok's hand. It doesn't really attach. You just, it's very loose in there. You just find a area where it sticks and there you go. So it's all right. It's not something I plan on using a lot with this figure. Now, Fast Track has another mode that was not shown on the box. What we're gonna do is take the spear completely apart, remove the tip, remove that section, remove the legs take the arms or the staff separate those get everything broke down into its components you're going to take fast tracks body and reattach it to the leg section like i said you take this peg that peg make sure everything lines up pop that right into place like so flip this section out right here now you're going to take the legs of Fast Track, and this time you're going to attach the legs feet first. Just like so. And then you're going to take his arms, and these will peg in. They got these really thick pegs right here. They will peg in to the upper part of the legs. So you've got this going on. So that's what you should have. Now you're going to take this section here and just recreate the tip of the spear. So now we have this weaponry that can attach to another transformer. Like Snapdragon here. What we're going to do is take this part right here. You've got the peg there. 
attach it to Snapdragon's back or any other figure. Rotate these down. There's actually a hinge right there where the ankle tilt is. That's what you want to rotate down. Let's see if I can get the other one to do this. There's a lot of weight to that. So actually, you just want to bring it down so these weapons are laying against the shoulders of the robot. Now you have this piece right here, which is a shield, a bladed shield. So attach that to his wrist. So now we have Snapdragon all armed up with fast track weaponry. He's got shoulder cannons. He's got a bladed shield. He is ready for some combat. That looks really, really cool. In the comments section of my Toy Hacks G1 Fast Track review, somebody mentioned that you could put Earthrise Fast Track's arms on Generation 1 Fast Track. So, remove G1 Fast Track's arms, and we replace it with Earthrise. So, yes, you can do that. Why you would want to do that, I have no idea, but there you go. It looks stupid. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Fast Track with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Fast Track, Titans Return Full Tilt, and Siege Brunt. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Fast Track is an awesome figure. I absolutely love his robot mode and his vehicle mode. I think there are great callbacks to the original Generation 1 toy. His spear mode and weapon pack, they're okay. They're not the greatest, but I appreciate Hasbro and what they tried to do to add more playability to this figure. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Fast Track. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Fast Track belong in your collection? Absolutely, especially if you have Earthrise Scorponok. Now, I love this guy. I think the robot mode looks fantastic. The vehicle mode, also great. Awesome throwbacks to the original Generation 1 toy. The spear mode, it looks good as a display piece, but as far as using it with Scorponok for playability, Scorponok can't hold it, and the staff itself is all flippity-floppity. The battle set or the weapons pack, that's pretty cool. I dig it. It's something unique. But just as far as robot mode and vehicle mode, this guy takes the cake. He is awesome and highly, highly recommended. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!